Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Fatal Termination, a Hong Kong action movie from 1990. The TV Tropes website gives us the following plot synopsis. Fatal Termination, also known as Death Blow, is a 1990 Hong Kong action film starring Ray Liu, Robin Sho, Simon Yam, and Moon Lee. When an arsenal of stolen weapons smuggled into Hong Kong gets confiscated by police officer John, played by Ray Liu, it leads to the death of a lead smuggler, and the smuggler's brother swears revenge, which will inevitably get John's entire family, including his wife Moon, played by Moon Lee, and young daughter, dragged into the danger. Everything else is made further complicated by Jimmy, played by Simon Yam, and Billy, two other cops involved in the arrest, as well as a corrupted customs official, played by Robin Shaw. So the movie begins with some shady dealings going on between some bad guys. There's an important shipment coming in. Now, dangers escalate when a suspect opens fire in a parking garage and attempts to escape, and this seems to hit a dead end, okay, after all these events transpire. But Simon Yam's character finds some information on the shipment. And he uses some nifty little investigation tactics, like comparing the weight of the shipment to the actual contents. And uh, he knows that something significant was taken from the container at the shipping area after it was delivered. And this puts him face to face with Robin Shaw's character, who is definitely engaging in some shady activities. Now, one character in this film, one of the supporting characters, is like a normal guy who's in league with the bad guys. But he's also a friend and colleague with the good guys. So uh, he's convincingly torn about the situation. So I kind of liked how they put that in there. And in addition to the conflict, the main conflict, I liked how there's some tension between the bad guys as well. And this always makes sense to me because they're criminals and would likely find out or look out for themselves first uh, before their fellow accomplices. So all of this isn't exactly award-winning material or anything, but the movie does set things up properly, I think, and there's some pretty good character interaction and conflicts here. Now, the most important thing to know before watching Fatal Termination is that this was and is marketed as a Moon Lee vehicle, but she's mostly in the background during the opening hour. So if you've seen your fair share of Girls With Guns movies out of Hong Kong or any movie out of Hong Kong, really. You'll be familiar with this marketing tactic they sometimes do where they'll put somebody on the front poster of the movie and the person only shows up for a limited period of time. Uh, it's not that egregious in this, um, but in reality, Fatal Termination is truly an ensemble film with many actors contributing in roughly equal measure. And it does work well because we do have some legitimately good actors here, including Philip Coe, who is not even mentioned in the plot synopsis. And of course, I mean, Simon Yam is fantastic. But thankfully, Moon Lee does make her presence felt, especially during the final half hour. And I do believe that there is enough of her in this to warrant a viewing if you're a fan. Now, in terms of the action, it satisfies. You get a solid shootout in a parking garage involving a suspect who's difficult to deal with. Lots of civilian casualties that no one seems to care about. I always enjoy that in these movies. Uh, there are a few brief but good fights inside of a shipping crate delivery area. And I did enjoy the car chase shootout that takes place at nighttime. Other chases and fights follow, one of which gives us an entertaining death scene involving a crane hook. And then, Moon Lee eventually gets involved in the action, and that's when we arrive at the undisputed highlight sequence of the entire film, a car chase involving a kidnapped child. And I, I must have talked about this scene before on my channel. Maybe if, when I went, uh, went over uh, this movie in my Asian movie collection playlist. Because after you watch this scene, it's impossible to forget for the rest of your life. You'll never forget it. Certainly one of the most irresponsible stunts in motion picture history, and it's awesome. Uh, I like movies that aren't afraid to go a little bit too far in places, and this Fatal Termination definitely goes a bit too far in places with its stunts. And I'll let you experience that scene for yourself. Afterwards, Moon Lee gets a hand-to-hand -hand fight scene, and she thankfully plays a pretty big role in the, in the finale, which is a pretty explosive finish in an open area. 
So I do think the action in this is good, and the conflicts are good. It's just a good flick. Uh, the bad guys are evil, and they become super evil down the stretch. You know, these are some cold-blooded dudes, and that's good. So I think I actually enjoyed Fatal Termination a little bit more on my recent viewing than I did when I first saw it ages ago. Uh, probably because I knew what to expect going into it. This is not a Moon Lee extravaganza from start to finish, okay? But again, she does make her presence felt during the final, like, half hour, all right? Uh, the old DVD that I had, <laughs> it's got a pretty crappy transfer. I don't even think I would recommend it. <laughs> but this movie is scheduled to get a an American Blu-ray release, uh, hopefully in the near future, the next few months maybe, from the Error 4444 uh, label. So look out for it. It's a pretty good flick, and uh, we need more Moon Lee on Blu-ray, so hopefully this sells well and we can get some more. And as always, folks, we'll see you next time.